How do you do folks, hope you're all well. Uh, something a little bit different today. Uh, I'm going for trout. Thus, uh, the little scoopy scoopy net uh, by Grays. Uh, I've got me, uh, <laughs> me trusty snag bro magnet on there for ease of uh, connection, which is just awesome for the job. Um, I have gone back over to my GoPro Hero 7. Getting loads of issues at the moment with the 9 and it's not to do with software. Um, as I've, I've, I've made sure everything's up to date there, uh, it's just doing its own things, turn itself off. Then it'll make noises that don't indicate it's recording. So uh, with the ability or the possibility of catching some trout today, um, gone back to the 7. Um, but that's also got the polarised filter on so hopefully I can catch some decent footage if I catch a trout. Uh, light spinning kit set, not kit. Uh, old Corum spinning reel now. Uh, it's the old uh, Corum, uh, it's a drop shot rod really. Uh, twin tip, I think this is one to this is one to five gram, I think this was. Um, we'll start off with a spinner, Savage Gear size two. Um, but I've got Rapala uh, cranks with me. I've got some of Martin's uh, jig flies, the miniature trout jig flies with me. Um, and yeah, the good old trusty um, tracker uh, waders. I've had them for quite a few years now and I've only used them a handful of times. I think sometimes that can actually show just as using loads, the least you use something sometimes they can wear and tear. So I'm about to find out there's a leak in them. But um, no, thanks to um, uh, Charlie for putting me onto a little spot in the country uh, that we're aware of. No one owns this water. It's just no one, because it's where you've got to travel to to get to it and get on it. It's, no one runs it, so um, which is a bonus. You can hear a lot of traffic, it's going right by an A road, but it is literally in the middle of nowhere. So the Black Country Piker has uh, travelled into the sticks again, um, which you will have to do, because it's really hard to catch fish in and around the West Mids. Trout anyway, I should say. But um, yeah, and just to say, um, so whilst I've not been fishing, uh, I've had a few meetups with friends and family and so forth. And you know, people say it's such, you know, it's a small world and it turns out that uh, Richard Davis, Dickie Davis, you know who you are, mate. Uh, your son works with my best mate. Um, so we just got talking the other day and he just sort of asked the question and it's just suddenly really dawned on me who it was he's referring to and it's yourself. So uh, nice one, Rich, uh, <laughs> small world, mate. But uh, yeah, let's crack on. Oh, fish on, fish on, definitely fish on. Oh man, this will be a PB if this comes in. Oi, flippy neck. Oh, that's fucked it. I've lost my net. Oh, bollocks. Okay. Uh, that's an expensive loss, but there we go. Come on, mate. Come on. Look me first. Oh, a nice one. Oh, I can't believe I lost my net. Right, here, folks. A uh, bit of a disaster. disaster. Lost my net somewhere. I was walking downstream, but look at that little beauty. Um, I can't tell you how frustrated I've been until now um, because everything's been going wrong for me this morning. But uh, he absolutely smashed it. But uh, oh, absolutely chuffed. Right, let's get him back. Awesome. Gone. Get in. Right, as it seems I have uh, lost my net. I have no idea where. Um, I'm going to have a quick walk back down, see if there's any chance it might be caught on something, which I very much doubt. It's probably floated off six miles downstream by now. Right, it's in a minute. <laughs> right, I've come down where I've changed my uh, lures, and thank God the landing nets are here. Oh, you, you, that's cold. I have no idea what that's detached. Definitely the magnet, because the magnets are as strong as buggery. Right. Attach that eye up. Hopefully. 
It could be the uh, I hadn't got the clamp on properly. Right, let's get back to it. So, retrieved one net. Uh, I'll tell you what, so far it's been, it has been frustrating. Um, the rock bed where we are is very uh, bouldery, I suppose, the best way I can describe it. And I can now 100% see the benefit of wearing proper uh, trout waders, if you like. So they're a proper boot uh, rather than effectively wellies. Uh, it's really uncomfortable. Even though I've got thick socks on, it's really uncomfortable going up and down this stream. And that's part of my frustration because I, I look like a right twad going up and down here, nearly going to ask have a tit every five seconds. Lost a lure in the tree, uh, I wasn't finding any fish. Um, so I swapped over, like I say, to that Rapallo minnow, and within probably five minutes, I've just seen a trout rise, so that's good. Two, aye. Right, I'm off. <laughs> I can see fish. <laughs> Fish on, get in. Was he shot off from my neck? Like a little torpedo, these things. Definitely the uh, Rapallo Minnow doing the work for me. Come on, sweet cheeks. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Minute. Right, yeah, folks, second one of the day. Um, I've never had two in one day ever, it's usually one, <laughs> but uh, I can't get the fishing water as much as I can. So I'll get my net back now so I can sort of hold it around. But uh, uh, it's all wrapped up, let's quickly sort this out. Not as big as the last one. I keep hooking everything with that treble. I have to sort out these uh, sing looks, but uh, uh, look at this little bullet. That, they go off like a rocket. But again, that Rapala, uh, proper doing the business. But look at the look at that. Absolutely stunning, aren't they? I can see why you trout like guys like them so much. Let's get you out, mate. Get back in the water a minute. So, uh, just whilst I'm resting the fish up a minute, um, I'm gonna take a photo without the hook hanging in his mouth. But uh, this is the Rapala uh, lure that's doing the business for me. Um, popped into uh, RD Tackle um, just the other day, just have a chat, and I ended up buying one of these. I've been looking for them for ages. Let me focus. Um, and because uh, <laughs> I keep seeing these, and I've been wanting one for ages. Can't find it on eBay, couldn't find it on um, Amazon apart from really random colours. Popped into Dave's, he's got one on the wall, I'm having it and I'm so glad I did. So uh, Dave, cheers mate. Uh, <laughs> right, let's get a photo of this fish and get it back. Right, so this fish has been held up quite a bit now so I've sorted my GoPro out of the new battery so... As you can see, now I've got a soaking wet face. And away you go. <laughs> oh, I do miss our uh, gone fishing. Oh, fish on. Yes, you come bombing out the side for that then. Looks like a nice fish. Uh, keep it Come straight towards me. Come on, come on, come on. You're wrapped up. Yay! In the net. Right, let's get you on the side. So, again, not a monster. Third little stunner of the day. And, uh, uh, there's no need for polaroids on that, it comes bombing out of the bank for this, um, from the root, so uh, sort it out and uh, let's get the fish back. I'm going to cry like there's no tomorrow when I lose this lure, I tell you. <laughs> I 
Watch out. The rest of this one's not long enough. There's a bird cack on my head. Off he goes. Nice one. Something bumped it then. Fish on. Yes, get in. Straight at me again. Oh, this is just awesome. The fight these fish give is ludicrous. Same stamp as the last one. Whee! Nice. So, uh, more or less from the same spot again. Uh, same stamp as the last one. A little tinker. <laughs> oh, that just it just baffles me how hard they fight right up until the end as well. But uh, yeah, it's getting back. Right, I'm not going to lie. I've nearly broke my neck three times walking up here. Um, I'm running out of pools at the minute. Um, I'm trying the obvious places, but struggling to find one now. Oh, there's one. Got him. I see him chase it down then. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, you're all knotted up. Yay! What a mess. <laughs> there we go. Well, there it was. Right, sort him out. Right, I am going to have to let this fish go to sort the net out because uh, <laughs> he's uh, death rolled that many times. Right, one foot, there he goes. Awesome. Straight into the main flow, right. Hmm, let's sort this out. Mm -hmm. It's gone in cockeyed. And the fish just hit it as I'm lifting it out. You arse. <laughs> let's try that again. Hey, flipping it. I think that's the same one as put it first time. Come on, sunshine. Hey, in the net. Right, you're done, you're done. Calm down, calm down. Right, this fish is definitely ready to go. Off you go, son. Nice. Let's see if we can replicate that once more. Oh, fish on straight away. Oh, he's flipping it. That's mad. <laughs> Oh, I'm nearly asked to have a tit again. Hey, you've got him on the net upside down. It doesn't matter. We've got him. Ah. All right, mate. I'll have you in the water. Hang about. Hang about. There we go, mate. There we go. Right. So, my alarm has got fish on again. Oh, my life. I found the right little hot spot here. I was about to say, the alarm's just gone off. I wanted one more last cast. We're going to stop my way back down to the car. 
Do you see the further upstream I get going, the angrier these fish are getting. <laughs> I'm nearly over myself a tit again. Oh. Well, I can see why you guys go to singles. I haven't yet got any single hooks. All right, buddy. Nearly then. Nearly there. Makes it a lot easier to unlock, I'm sure. Right, yeah, guys, that sees the end of today's session. And uh, what a weird session it's been. Absolutely awesome, awesome, but weird. I say weird in that um, I've never really uh, got my waders on and gone into almost the brim of my waders chasing trout. And it's blooming hard work. Uh, I've got to be fair, I didn't expect it to be like that. Uh, first of all, I should say, again, thank you, Charlie. Um, you are the man. Uh, you've put me onto a, a little venue. Um, I have walked quite a while upstream, to be fair chasing trout and and it's delivered so thank you very much um it's, it brought me a new pb so i've no idea what, what weight that fish was it doesn't really matter it's bigger than the last one so all i need to know um and they are all perfect fish um the fight is just ridiculous um started off on the spinners nothing went over to a ms um ms custom jig fly that martin made for me ages ago um not martin's minnows kind of thing back to spinner lost up a tree that got me to switch over to the uh, Rapala uh, Ultralight uh, 06, I think it was. And that's accounted for every trout today now. So <laughs> that then kind of leads me to think, maybe if I put that on earlier, I could have had more fish. But, um, and I suppose the frustration side is, I've been in the tree that many times, I can't count that many. Uh, I've had the tree, the, the rod tip in the tree, the lure in the tree. I've been falling off, so I've tit around in the river looking a right pleb, because um, I've not been able to balance on the rocks. I think the main thing is what made me realise massively is a couple of things. One, um, what it is for carp fishing and your, gener your generic uh, barbel. When you walk into the river and standing still, these waders are not really meant at all for trout fishing. I can now see massively why uh, true trout anglers, if you like, uh, wear those boots uh, and uh, all the rest, because they're just, it's way more comfortable. My feet feel like they've been pummeled and that's wearing thick socks in these waders as well. Uh, and the other one is the advantage of having a, a chest mount, not chest mount, a chest bag or backpack uh, sling. Obviously, when you're wobbling around in the river, that sort of swinging around your neck as well. <laughs> if someone's filmed me, I'll look, it'll be on TikTok somewhere, I'm sure. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the, there are a lot of advantages. And this this one session, I've learned a lot, to be fair. So um, yeah, it's great. But uh, anyway, I, uh, I'm gonna bid you all farewell now, because time to, I've got to get back for the little end, so. Hopefully I've got enough footage to get a video out for this. Um, I've got to be, trying, be a bit careful as to no, <coughs> no obvious places so that uh, other people, well I suppose local people and some trout anglers will know where I am. But uh, if you do, don't shout it out. But uh, just try and keep it a bit obvious, or, sorry, less obvious as to where I am. But I'm waffling now. Right, in a bit guys, I'll catch you later.